What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about why nice guys become players. Now, this is a video that women aren't going to like and you nice guys that are out there that might be watching this video, you might not like this right now, but by the end of this video and by the end of your life, you will come to appreciate this video and the knowledge dropped in this video and you will be tired of living that nice guy life. I was once there, I was once a nice guy, super simp, and I've changed, all right? You can watch my earliest videos where I talk about my stories and I've completely changed around and I am no longer that nice guy. A lot of guys are going through that process right now as we speak, as this space gets bigger and more men get this information. The way women are moving nowadays is pushing a lot of nice guys into becoming players because they see that these guys are reaping the rewards and the benefits with all the hot women. But first and foremost, in order to understand what a nice guy is and how that nice guy grew up and how he idealizes the world in his mind based on his upbringing, we have to really understand his background, which is why I've laid out some of the main things and the main reasons why the nice guy ends up becoming the player later on. It's because of his upbringing over here on this side and then how this translates onto this side we'll talk about. So one of the main reasons nice guys get frustrated and eventually become players is because they're operating with a 1940s mindset when it comes to dealing with women and a 1940s playbook. They see their families uh, with traditional values that they grew up with, they see their grandparents, and they think, oh my God, that can apply to my situation nowadays with women. When women are now more liberated and they have more opportunities than ever before, they're making more money, so you need to adjust your mindset as a nice guy and realize I can't be doing the same things that my grandparents and my parents did with the evolution of dating apps and all of these other things, women have an exposure to all types of men and any men that they want. They can categorize it down, they can filter out who they don't want, and there's an abundance of options. And men that are nice guys get so frustrated because they're living with that idea of why aren't women like how they used to be in that traditionalist mindset that has long been dead. And that was one of the main things that really frustrated me when I first entered this space because I grew up wanting that and seeing that in the church, even though I came from a single parent household, I still idealize that because I saw it with my grandparents. Or let's say for example, that nice guy didn't grow up with traditional parents and instead he grew up maybe with a single mother. Well, that single mother probably heavily influenced the way he is now and the way he is a nice guy, all right? She's telling him women are sugar and spice and everything nice. Don't be like your father. This is what he did wrong. She's going to raise that nice guy, her son, as you know, an exemplary model of what a man should be, in her opinion. It's not really a man, it's a simp, it's a nice guy. And this really is going to mess with this kid later on, as we'll talk about, and leading him to become a player and on the other side of the extreme, all right? Because he's instilled with this nice guy attitude and these behaviors of being a nice guy and being a gentleman and being chivalrous by his single mother. So we're not excluding those that were raised by single mothers. We got the traditional and the single mothers. That's why you see it in both. You see so many of these nice guys because it's operating from both playing fields, the traditional family and then the single mothers. And these nice guys that are raised by single mothers, they're going to be extremely emotional in their feels. They're operating like their single mother in that feminine emotional mindset because that is what they're used to. Next on the list, the nice guy believes chivalry is needed in the same way as it was in the past. Guys, chivalry is dead, okay? And I'm not trying to totally shit on chivalry, but what I'm saying is that whole idea of opening car doors for women, holding doors for them, um, putting your jacket down when she goes over a puddle, all these different things that you're taught as a nice guy, that's all dead. That's all dead and gone. Women are able to do all of that and then some, and they have more privileges nowadays than men do. You know, it's not like back in the stone age when a woman needed help uh, moving a boulder or lifting something heavy. And you know, she was actually contributing and was a virtuous woman and had something to offer of value later on. And we could actually expect her to respect us. But nowadays, the, these women are very masculine. You know, they think that they're strong and independent. They can do it all by themselves. So you know what? She can move that boulder herself. She can work for herself. She can figure it out. She can walk it through that puddle, put her own jacket down. She can put her jacket down for me. She can pay for dinner. You know, that old chivalrous mindset, that 1940s mindset, it's dead, it's gone. And the nice guy doesn't realize that. Next on the list, he expects women to be like him. This is a huge, huge mistake. 
a lot of guys expect women to be like them, okay? What does this mean? You expect a woman not to flake, all right? You expect her to keep her word. You make a locate, you send her a location of a time and a place where you guys wanna meet, and she is supposed to show up because you would show up in reverse, right? You would show up to that place. But no, instead, this woman is going to, nine times out of 10, not all the time, but she will flake. You expect her to build with you and not leave, okay? As a nice guy, you expect women to work towards a common goal together as a unit, and while she's assisting you building this thing up, that she'll stick by your side. And we know there's gonna be hills and valleys every now and then, but no matter what, we, as a nice guy, you expect her to stick by your side and work it through, even when times are tough, even when the money's not the same, and she's gonna stick it out and be a ride or die with you. And this is where the nice guy gets messed up because he's thinking that the woman's thinking in the same mind plane as he is that, oh, if I'm building something with this person, I'm not going to leave because we worked this hard, we built this great thing up, and I was expecting there to be hills and valleys, and I'm gonna stick it through. Little does he know, he doesn't understand that a woman is based on her emotions and she's going to be very selfish, all right? She's only thinking about herself in that moment and how she feels emotionally, all right? And that is one of the main things he gets wrong. So building and not leaving. He expects her to build and not leave. And that is why he gets rugged a lot of times. Next up, he uh, expects women to inform him before leaving, okay? He expects a woman to, hey, you know what? Just like you would put in your two week notice before a job, I'm going to inform you that I am no longer satisfied in this relationship and it's time for me to move on and you to move on and maybe look for someone else. When a lot of times what these women will do a lot of times to these nice guys, they'll, they'll just leave, they'll just dip out. And little does the nice guy know that she's been planning her exit for months. He just doesn't understand the signs and what to look out for. And a lot of times, sometimes you won't even necessarily see all the signs. The next mistake the nice guy makes is he actually believes women have morals and values and they're not led by their emotions and their desires in the moment, which is completely foolish. If you've been watching this channel and you watch other content in this space, because women will put their emotions and how they're feeling in that moment over everything and anything else. The next mistake the nice guy makes is he rewards women without them earning it. That's like you going to a company and you've only been there for two months and you get promoted as a senior project manager or director or vice president without having put in the work and the actual effort to earn that. You're not really going to respect that position. It's the same way with a woman. If you've only been talking to her for one to three months and you immediately make her your girlfriend, you start treating her like a wife or a long-term partner and you start really heavily simping over her her doing all these extra things to try to impress her to keep her around to push the thing moving forward because you look needy she is not going to respect you as a man and she is going to leave you all right that is nice guy treatment all right so you can expect nice guy results by acting that way next up on the list is the nice guy crave sex over his purpose all right he might be on his purpose he might be going to the gym you know doing all these different things but while he's out and about such as at the gym his eyes are on a swivel he's hungry all right he's in a hungry state of just oh where's the next box where's the next piece of ass what, what can i do he's just totally consumed with the idea of, of sex and he's prioritizing sex over getting another rep he's pillow talking in bed when he should be getting ahead all right so why does this nice guy become a player all right he's fed up finally he's finally fed up he's had enough He's had enough of his heart being played with. That's the real number one reason why the nice guy becomes a player. He's also tired of feeling unappreciated by women, all right? He's tired of being chivalrous and it not being rewarded. He's tired of setting up plans, date, and a location, and being there on time, putting in the effort, the energy to show that he cares about this woman and how he feels about her and talk to her, thinks he can open up to this woman and it's not being reciprocated on the other side. He gets tired of that over and over that happening to him. He gets tired of trusting a woman. And then over time, over time and time again, this woman shows her true colors and she's a hoe. That's, this is why the nice guy becomes a player, all right? These are the main two reasons. He does not feel appreciated. He doesn't feel appreciated, ladies. He, this is why he is tired. He's tired of playing games. He's tired of the head games. He's tired of the lack of respect, all right? And he sees, also in addition, the bad boy getting all the hot chicks with a nonchalant attitude, all right? He doesn't really care if this woman comes, this woman goes. Um, and this guy usually has no job. He has nothing going for himself. 
and you're over here a nice guy you know you went to high school you graduated you got a 3.5 to 4.0 you made the honor roll you got a scholarship to go to a four-year university you went there you got your degree you got your bachelor's maybe your master's and your doctorate you graduated you know you're you, you're a nice guy you're you're a straightforward cut cookie cutter type of guy and this nice guy's thinking to himself damn I did everything I was supposed to do. I did everything right. I did everything that my single mother told me to do. I did everything that all the females in my life told me to do. But at the same time, I'm getting terrible results with women. These women are flaking on me. They're disrespecting my time. They're, they're constantly cheating. They're going out with the bad boys and the players. Why is this? All right. Then he moves on and seeks help and tries to find advice help and advice online or in person, all right? He might seek advice with a mentor or a guy that he sees that's, that's, that's known to be a player or an older cat that has some wisdom and he's going to ask and pry at this guy's brain or try to get a further understanding online of why women don't respect nice guys, why women treat nice guys like absolute trash, all right? And then usually what happens after this is he moves on and he has to unlearn what he was taught which leads to the red pill rage that we talk about in this space or extreme frustration, all right? This is the main reason guys get so frustrated in this space. It's because we feel like we were lied to about women early on and we have to now unlearn everything we were taught and it's extremely difficult to do that while also learning how to become a man and deal with other things in life. It just becomes like, do I really have to learn this? Like, why wasn't I just taught this early on in life? and now I have to spend time trying to learn game. But him learning about female nature and all these different lies that he was told really is going to frustrate him because he has to now unlearn what he was programmed to believe as a young boy, as a nice guy. So after this state of unlearning what he was taught as a nice guy, he accepts female nature and begins the self-improvement journey while learning more about the game and applying what he's learning in real life situations. So he's seeing and he's going deeper down that rabbit hole of game and the red pill and he's learning more about female nature and he's starting to apply little things that he sees here and there being talked about online in this space into his real life real world scenarios and he's starting to get results all right he's starting to get these women that he used to think that he couldn't get or the the women that used to chase the bad boys they're now checking for him and this is the first time this is happening in his life all right but he has to go through this stage of acceptance not all guys will choose the acceptance stage some guys get stuck in that complaining frustration phase or they just check out completely and don't want to deal with women i'm not hating on that i 100 percent get where you're coming from but this is we're talking about players here so the player is still in the game heavily all right so he's learning more about the game the game's always evolving in his mind he's watching videos he's trying to upgrade his mind and, and this is not just to do with women, this has to do with lifestyle, career, uh, money, all these different things. It's finances. The game is really deep. It's not just about women. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. A lot of you guys get frustrated when I talk about the game and you guys think it only has to do with women. It's much more. It's about upgrading your whole thinking process to another level to get the results that you want in life. So now that the nice guy is fed up, he's tired of being played by women, he wants to feel appreciated, he's seeing the bad boy get all the results, so he's seeking help and he's trying to understand the nature of women, then he gets frustrated, he goes through his red pill rage, he has to unlearn everything. Now he gets to the point after accepting female nature and applying it in real life scenarios, the stuff he's learned, he realizes his value in everything. So he no longer engages in activities that don't benefit him or his future success. He's not going to engage in hood activity anymore. He's not going to engage with people that are lower than him, that have a negative mindset that aren't trying to progress in life that aren't trying to reach for the stars and become something he's no longer associating with those people it doesn't have to do with just women guys he's upgraded his mind all right he's learned female nature and through that process now he's internalized it and now he wants to upgrade everything else in life now that he has the female nature side and all the women stuff handled and figured out now moving forward he's only going to engage in things that bring him future success now this isn't being completely selfish because you should give back to those that gave to you and your mentors your parents that did pour into you or people around you that helped you get to where you are but trust and believe everything he moves now is like chess 
He's making moves to get to the very top and he's going to get there if he maintains on his purpose, on his mission, and he doesn't get distracted. One of the final stages the nice guy goes through after he becomes a player is he no longer has attachments, all right? So he has no outcome or expectation for things anymore besides what he can control because he realizes that people are gonna let you down, things are gonna let you down, but as long as you're level-headed, you keep working, you stay consistent, whatever it is that you're doing in life, you're going to succeed eventually. It might not be right now, it might not be in the next year or two years, it might be in 10 years, all right? It might be in 15 years, but as long as you're consistent and on your grind, on your purpose, you have that vision and you're attacking it and improving every day, he realizes he will get there, but he has no high, he doesn't let his highs get him too high and he doesn't let his lows get him too low. He stays even keel, all right? Even when he's having his best day, he doesn't let it get to his head and he internalizes, yeah, I'm having a great day right now, but I'm not gonna let that get to my head because you know, there's still tomorrow, there's still the day after that where I'm trying to get to. There's always something I gotta get to. So I can't get too caught up on what's going on right now in today's moment. I gotta stay even headed, even keel, and I can't let my lows get me too low and I become depressed and all that because there's always another day, there's always another moment to attack what I'm trying to attack and accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. You never get stuck when you have this mindset. That's the final evolution of a true player right there. He has no outcome, no expectations, and certainly no attachments to any women. He understands that women are emotional creatures and he's going to use them recreationally or for his purpose, whatever he's doing in his life. And he's going to get out of there as soon as he's done with that situation. All right, ladies, if you're frustrated, if you're triggered by this video, a lot of you women, not all, all right, but a lot of you women took this nice guy for granted early on in life. And now he has become a player and you are starting to see more and more men be like this, not be chivalrous because they started off on this side and they were not appreciated. They were taken advantage of, they were flaked on, they weren't respected. And these guys looked for advice. They looked for help, they sought it out. And they found it in videos like this, channels like this, and other channels in the space that are helping men get over this concept and idea of women are being our angels and they're holy and they're magnificent, magnificent creatures, they're sugar and spice, everything nice, all right? So a lot of men are upgrading their minds every single day and they're self-improving getting to the point where you know we don't need you <laughs> i gotta laugh because the same way these women treat men so replaceable and heartless and cold when we're nice guys is the exact same way we now are treating women and they hate us for it they hate us but you know what this information is going to continue to spread content like this is continue to grow with your guys' support with your guys' help more men are waking up and we're tired of being unappreciated and we're investing in ourselves now because that's all that matters in the end. We can only control, we realize we can only control what goes on with us in that moment. As long as we can stay consistent in what we're doing, that's all that matters. We don't rely on outside factors and especially not you women that treated us like garbage when we were nice guys. So we got tired of it, we leveled up, we're leveling up right now, we're in the process and we don't need you guys. You're on the other side so you know how it feels now. All right, this is not to spite women, this is not to hate on women or anything like that, but I've just gotta say, it feels damn good when you're on the come up and you self-actualize and you're really working towards your self-improvement and life's just going well, all right? Those of you that are out there doing it, you realize that's better than a thousand women, all right? It's better than sex, it's better than every, anything you can imagine dealing with a woman because you've worked towards something, you had a goal in mind and you're reaching that goal. All right, I don't want you guys to walk away with the, from this video with hate or with anger and frustration. I want you guys to use it as motivation so we can self-improve, we can get better and better and they can watch us rise to the top. And if she's not watching, who cares? You're doing it for yourself at the end of the day. First and foremost, you gotta do it for yourself. You gotta love yourself. Love you guys. Drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new and you like this content. You don't wanna miss any more uploads. See you guys next time. I'm gone, have a good one.